Chapter 2 Plants Structure and Function Let's recall What help us to easily identify the plants around us? Which are the various parts of plants? The roots, stem, leaves, flowers, fruits, etc. of different plants are different. We can identify plants with the help of these different characteristics. Let us now acquaint ourselves with these plants plant organ in greater details. Root Keep a moistened ball of crumpled paper in a conical flask. Place some soaked moth beans or gram seeds in the flask between the paper and the glass wall. Observe and note the changes in seeds in two or three days. The part that grows from inside the seed towards the soil is called radical and the part that grows above the soil is called the plumule. The root that forms from the radical grows into the ground. The root is thick near the ground and gradually tapers to a pointed end. This part of the plant growing below the soil for support is called root. Roots of some plants produce secondary roots that grows obliquely and spread far and wide in the, water, in the soil. Roots support the plant. This type of root is called a taproot. Root bear hair-like processes near the root tips. These are root hairs. The root tip is delicate. This is the region of the growth of the root. The root is covered by cap-like structure called the root cap. The root cap protects the root tip from injuries. Take a glass jar and fill three quarters of it with water. Place an onion on the mouth of the jar in such a way that its roots are towards the water. Observe the growth of the roots for eight days. Thread-like or fiber-like roots arise from the stem are called fibrous roots. Thus, there are two main types of roots, tap roots and fibrous roots. Dicotyledonous plants have the tap roots while monocotyledonous plants have fibrous roots. So the seeds of plants like mustard, sorghum that is jowar, maize that is corn, pea, coriander, etc. in an earthen pot. Cultivate the plant for 8 days. Once the plants grow 15 to 20 centimeters high, uproot them carefully while the soil is moist and put them gently in a large conical flask containing water. The soil will get washed off without any harm to the roots. Observe the roots carefully to see which plant have tap roots and which ones have fibrous roots. Plants like maize, sugarcane, sorghum have two types of roots. Some roots are underground whereas some grow from the stem just above the soil. The latter are called adventitious roots. Besides the normal functions like absorption of water and minerals, anchoring and supporting the plant, root performs some other functions too. Roots show some modifications to perform these additional functions. Some examples of such modified roots are aerial roots, stilt roots, runners, breathing roots, that is pneumatopores, etc. Take some water in a small glass jar. Put a plantlet in it such, that, such a way that its roots are dipped in water. Mark the water level on the jar and add 5 ml of oil to the water. Record the water level on the next day. Discuss your observations in the class. Use your brain power. What would have happened if plants like tamarind, banyan and mango had fibrous roots? What will happen if the root tip is injured? Which types of root do the fenugreek, spinach and onion plants have? Do you know? Roots emerging from the trunk and branches of a banyan tree grows towards the soil. 
These roots are called prop roots. What could be the use of these prop roots? In the beginning, the banyan tree has very few prop roots, but later on, their numbers increases so much that it appears like a small forest. In Kolkata, a 250 years old banyan tree in Indian Botanical Garden covers a very large area. It is supported by thousands of prop roots. Is there any such tree in your neighborhood? Find out why are the underground parts of plant like radish, carrot, beetroot and sweet potatoes thick, fleshy and swollen? Which part of the plant are they? Techno support. Collect images of different types of roots and send them to your friends via email. Stem. The stem grows above the soil from the plumule of the sprouting seed. As the sprouting grows, sprout grows, the length of the stem gradually increases too. There are nodes on the stem. Leaves come out at the nodes. The part of the stem between two nodes is called an internode. The tip or apical end of the stem is called a bud. Observe a branch of any plant and identify its different parts as per the diagram. 